Today we're going to be making this very simple ribbed and striped beanie. And this is part of my Cascade Yarns Four Skein Challenge. So if you're interested in the other beanies in this challenge, check the links in the description. And for this beanie, I am going to be working with size 4 medium weight wool yarn. And the colors I am working with are Aspen, Natural, and Copper. And I'm also going to be using a size H or 8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. And if you want to avoid cutting and tying off your yarn between your rows, then I recommend grabbing a safety pin or a stitch marker. And we're going to begin with the brim of our beanie, which for me is going to be the copper color. And we're going to begin by attaching the yarn to our crochet hook using a slip knot. And then we want to chain 21. And once you have your 21 chains, then we want to start placing half double crochet slip stitches in the back loop only. So we're going to begin by skipping our turning chain and we want to yarn over and then insert our crochet hook in the back loop only of our second chain. And the back loop is just the furthest loop from you when you're crocheting. So you should have three loops on your crochet hook and you're just going to yarn over and drop all three loops. From here, we're just going to place one half double crochet slip stitch in each stitch going down our row for a total of 20 half double crochet slip stitches. And all of these will be in the back loop only. And at the end of your row, you're going to chain one and then turn your work. And again, we want to skip our turning chain and in the back loop only of each stitch in our row, we want to place a half double crochet slip stitch. So again, at the end of this row, you should have a total of 20 half double crochet slip stitches in the back loop only. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to chain one and turn your work again. And from here, we're just going to continue to repeat our last row of placing one half double crochet slip stitch in each stitch in our row going all the way down until we've built the body of our brim. And I crocheted this brim to roughly 18 inches. And once you've gotten your brim to your desired length, go ahead and fold it in half. And I want you to make sure that your crochet hook loop is on the opposite side of your starting tail. So now we're just going to secure our short edges together. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've placed a chain stitch at the end of your last row. Then we're going to insert our crochet hook up underneath our last full stitch, skipping that turning chain. And then in our first row, we want to insert our crochet hook up underneath this very last loop. And remember, we did work in the back loop only, so you're only going to have one loop to work in on this side. From here, we're going to yarn over and drop all of the loops on our crochet hook for a slip stitch. And we're just going to repeat this pattern, placing our slip stitches in these corresponding loops going all the way up our brim. So when you get done, you should have a total of 20 slip stitches. And once you're done securing your edges, it should look something like this. So now we want to fold our brim in half lengthwise. And we're going to fold this up to hide that seam that we just created. So again, folding it up like this. And from here, we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. And don't forget to check the links in the description to see what I did with the rest of this yarn. 
From here, I'm going to divide my brim into four equal parts using safety pins, but you can use whatever you have lying around, including just scrap pieces of yarn. From here, grab your next color of yarn and we are going to attach it to our crochet hook using a slip knot. So basically for this row, we're going to be placing double crochet stitches that join our two edges together. And so we don't have any traditional stitches to work in, so we're just going to have to work in the available loops at the top of our brim here. So working right in a set of loops right here near the top, I'm going to insert my crochet hook in both sides of my brim and I'm going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops and then I'm going to chain two, just like this. And this chain two is going to count as our first double crochet. So from here, we're just going to place our double crochet stitches in the available loops along the edge of our brim. And we want to try to get 20 double crochets in each of our four sections. And so you're just going to try to place these stitches as evenly as you can going all the way around your row. And when you get to the end of your row, your beanie should look something like this. And before we secure up our yarn, I want to go ahead and hide these three tails. And all I'm going to do is just draw them to the inside of my brim here. So just between the two layers of the brim should hide them nicely. And from here, we're going to skip our chain two and then place a slip stitch in the top of our first double crochet. And the pattern for this row is just going to be to place back post stitches in each stitch in our row, starting with our current double crochet. So I'll show you how to do that. We're going to begin by yarning over and then we're going to insert our crochet hook in the gap between our chain two and our first double crochet, but we want to insert it from behind our project like this. So we just want to insert it between that gap and then we're going to reinsert our crochet hook in the gap between our first and second double crochet like this. So now you can turn your beanie over like this and we're going to yarn over and pull up through the post and we should have three loops on our crochet hook. So we're going to yarn over and drop two loops at a time until we complete our stitch. So now we're just going to repeat that process in each of our double crochet stitches. So I'm going to show you that one more time. So we're going to yarn over and then inserting our crochet hook from behind, we want to insert it between our first and second double crochet and then reinsert it between our second and our third. So we're capturing the second double crochet in our crochet hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull up through the post and then yarn over and drop two loops at a time to complete our stitch. So go ahead and repeat this process of placing your back post stitches going all the way around your row and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. And when you get to the end of your row, I want you to place a back post stitch around your starting chain two stitch from the previous row. From here, we're going to place a slip stitch in the top of our first back post stitch. Now we're going to remove our crochet hook from our loop and place a safety pin in this loop. And this just saves your loop for later so that you don't have to worry about cutting and tying off your yarn. You shouldn't have to worry about losing that loop and you can just pull on your safety pin to loosen it back up. Now we're going to attach our next color to our crochet hook using a slip knot. Now we're going to place our crochet hook in the same exact stitch where we just placed our slip stitch. 
and we're going to yarn over and pull up through all of the loops on our crochet hook and then we're going to chain two and for this next row we're going to place one double crochet in each stitch in our row starting with our next stitch over and you do have the option of crocheting over your tail during this row if you would like to. So to do that, just line your tail up with your stitches and crochet over it like it is part of your stitch. When you get to the end of your row, you should have a total of 79 double crochets in your chain two. And when you get to the end of your row, make sure you haven't accidentally worked in your slip stitch. And make sure you also have moved your working yarn as well as your loop to the back of your project before we seal off this row. So we're going to skip our chain two and then place a slip stitch in the top of our first double crochet. And for our next row, we're going to dive right into placing those back post stitches, starting with this current stitch where we just placed our slip stitch. So go ahead and place one back post stitch in each stitch in the row and including that chain two at the end of your row. And you should have a total of 80 back post stitches. And at the end of your row, your pattern should look something like this. And we're going to place a slip stitch in the top of our first back post stitch. And then we're going to switch out our crochet hook and our safety pin. So once you've secured your second colors loop, then we're going to chain two with that original color. And then we're going to dive right into this same stitch where we've already placed our slip stitch. So right here, and we're going to slip stitch into that stitch, just like this. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to place one double crochet in each stitch in our row. And then we're also going to go ahead and place our row of back post stitches. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of those two rows. And at the end of your two rows, don't forget to work around your chain two. And we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first back post stitch. So from here, we're just going to repeat our last two rows, alternating our colors. So to do that, you're just going to change out your crochet hook and your safety pin again. And we're going to chain two with our previous color and then place a slip stitch in the top of our current stitch where we've already placed our slip stitch. I went ahead and crocheted seven sections of my two rows of alternating colors. And I've already switched out my crochet hook and my safety pin, and so we're going to begin to place our decreasing rows. So we're going to start with a chain two and a slip stitch in the same stitch where we've already placed our slip stitch, just like we've been doing for the entire pattern. And we're going to chain two and that's going to count as our first double crochet. So we want to place one double crochet in our next five stitches for a total of six double crochets. And then we're going to double crochet together our seventh and our eighth stitch. And once you have your first six stitches, then yarn over and insert your crochet hook in your seventh stitch and yarn over and pull up through. Then yarn over and insert your crochet hook in your eighth stitch and yarn over and pull up through. Then we're going to yarn over and drop three loops and then yarn over and drop three loops again. So go ahead and repeat this pattern going all the way around your row, placing one double crochet in your next six stitches and then double crocheting two together in your seventh and your eighth. 
and when you get to the end of your row, you should have a total of 70 double crochets. And at the end of your row, again, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet. And for our next row, we want to place our first five back post stitches just like normal. And then we're going to crochet two stitches together. So I'll show you how to do that. So when it comes to decreasing in your back post stitches, go ahead and yarn over and then insert your crochet hook around your next post, which should be your sixth. And we're going to yarn over and pull up through our post and yarn over and drop two loops. Then we're going to yarn over and work around our next post and yarn over and pull up through the post and then yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop our last three loops like that. And we're going to repeat that pattern going around our row and when you get done you should have a total of 60 back post stitches. And at the end of your row, you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first back post stitch and then change out your crochet hook and your safety pin. And again, we're going to chain two and then place a slip stitch back in this same stitch where we just placed our slip stitch. And we're going to chain two. And for this row, we're going to place one double crochet in our first four stitches. And again, that chain two does count as your first double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet together our fifth and our sixth stitch. And we're going to repeat that pattern going around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 50 double crochets. And again, at the end of your row, you're going to skip your chain two and place a slip stitch in the top of your first double crochet. And the pattern for this row is to place one back post stitch in our first three stitches and then we're going to crochet together our fourth and our fifth stitch. And we're going to repeat that going around our row and when we get done we should have a total of 40 back post stitches. And again, at the end of your row, you're going to slip stitch into your first back post stitch and then trade out your crochet hook and your safety pin. And again, we're going to chain two and slip stitch into the top of our current stitch where we just placed our slip stitch. And we're going to chain two again. And for this row, we're going to place one double crochet in our first two stitches, and then we're going to double crochet together our third and our fourth stitch. And keep in mind that that chain two does count as your first double crochet. So go ahead and repeat this pattern going around your row, and when you get done, you should have a total of 30 double crochets. And at the end of your row, you're going to skip your chain two and slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet. And for our next row, we're going to place one back post stitch in our first stitch. And then we're going to crochet two stitches together in our second and third back post. And we're going to repeat that pattern going around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 20 back post stitches. And at the end of your row, you're going to place a slip stitch in the top of your first back post stitch. And once you've joined at the end of your row, then we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. 
Now we're going to go ahead and grab our other color and pull it up like we've been doing. And we want to chain two and place our slip stitch in our current stitch where we've already worked. And if you would like, you have the option of crocheting over your tail in this row by just lining it up with your stitches. From here, we're going to chain two and double crochet together each stitch in our row, going all the way around for a total of 10 double crochets. And at the end of your row, you're going to skip your chain two and place a slip stitch in the top of your first double crochet. And for our very last row, we're just going to place those joining back post stitches going all the way around our row for a total of five back post stitches. So now the hole at the top of our beanie is very, very small. So what we want to do is just place a slip stitch in one of the stitches opposite of our crochet hook, like right here. And you can continue to place slip stitches if you would like. From here, we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. And I'm going to draw my tail to the inside of the beanie. And this tail can make an excellent anchor for a pom-pom, so if you're attaching a pom-pom, don't hide your tail. But if you aren't attaching a pom-pom, then you can go ahead and hide this. Thank you so much for working with me today, and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day. And don't forget to check out the other beanies in this series.